Okay, there you go. So six options. Let's vote. So what are the right boundary conditions? In order to solve this, Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Uh-oh. So, opinions are massively divided. Uh, a bunch of people say, uh, well, most people say answer three, C, and, uh, and, a, and a few people see uh, answer, uh, answer E. Um, well, the bad, the bad news is that the, the right answer is D. <laughs> so it's so about 10% has got it right. And the reason is why, um, I think there's only like a tiny little mistake, right, between C and D. So, and that is, um, so if you look for N from zero to N respectively, that's clear, I guess. So that's fine. And the other one, we went integrate from R is A. And the reason why it, has to be 2a imagine that two particles touch each other and the distance between the two particles from center to center is 2a not a so that's why the correct answer is d so a little glitch so anyway so if you would put that in and if you would solve it so here you see uh oops here you see the answer, um, and you've figured it out, then the answer at the, at the bottom is uh, what you get if you integrate this. A times J is minus 16 times pi times the radius of the sphere times D1 times N. And that effectively is the collision onto a single particle. Yeah? So if I want to have this on all the particles, I have to multiply by N. Yeah, let's do that. So multiply by n, and then remember that top equation, we had a times n to the power 2. So k, effectively, so my rate coefficient is 16 times pi times a times d1. Yeah? And that's exactly the same as the smolikowski brownian diffusion rate for bimolecular reactions. So bimolecular reactions... You might know that 1 over k for a bimolecular, any bimolecular reaction would be 1 over k diffusion. Two molecules have to meet before they can do something, plus 1 over k chemistry. Yeah? And the k diffusion, you can just fill out. So the equation on the left is the same equation. 4 times pi times d is the distance of interaction, typically the diameter of one, one of your components. In this case, times the number of Avogadro, because k's are in moles normally. So you multiply with Avogadro, and then D1 plus D2. It's the same equation as a top bit. All right, so let's stop here, try to figure this out, and then we continue on Friday.